Welcome back guys, this is the fifth video of Bootstrap Essential Training Series. In the last video we have seen how we can set up our Spring Boot project. We created an HTML file, we learned how to start our server and how to you know, print out that HTML file. Now, we are going to be following MVC pattern, model, view and controller pattern. And in this video I'm going to talk about a controller object. Well, the controller in Java object, uh, basically its job is to handle the certain URI request. And we will apply some notification as well to uh, to that class that include which URI each method should handle. So, we are going to create a new package. So, I'm going to right click, go to new, and then click on package. And here, I'm going to type controller press enter we got the package done and then I'm gonna right click and create a new Java class and we'll just say gallery controller and then I'm gonna just remove these uh, comments here now in spring MVC we need to tell that it we need to tell our application that this is the controller so we can add an annotation on the top so type add and type controller that will tell our application that this is the controller and now we're gonna add a method here so we'll just say public string and we'll just say list of images right now we got the method done it's supposed to return string so we'll just say list list of images right now how do we tell this job uh, this spring application that this is the controller and what are the specific uri we want to access for this method so we need to add a few annotations here first of all the annotation we're going to add is called request mapping so that will tell that which uri we need to access so in the in that uh, request mapping we're going to add a parenthesis and then type a value and then here we just type slash which will indicate that this is a home directory we are trying to access so on the home directory that method will be printed out now we need another uh, annotation which is going to be response body so we're gonna add this response body to this method which will be uh, which will be a response of this particular URI now I'm gonna save this file and let's run this application so we're gonna click on this play button here our spring and tomcat server is going to start we just access the browser I'll just use the Mozilla this time and our port is 8000 and one thing I want to mention here there's a new line here says I mapped this slash into a public Java lang string com gallery app and then it's a mess method as well as you can see there's a method at the last that means we got our request mapping at this particular URI and then we have the response body as well so now if we just uh, access our local host so let's type local host colon 8000 and you will see that this stuff images has been printed so now we're getting this method to print out this list of images now you get an idea that how to use annotation one thing I want to mention here that you need to have a bit of experience with annotation if you watch my Java FX uh, tutorial series I've done a few projects as well so you can watch that in those tutorials I've used a few of uh, annotation but you need to have a bit of understanding of annotations how they work and what's going on with them so now we have the list of images right now let's say I want to change the URI I want to display this at a different URI so what we can do after the slash I will just say list right I'm gonna save this file and restart our server web server and in a few seconds when it says server is finished then we can start that again and then I'm gonna run this same local host one more time so I'll just give it a minute to restart the server now the server has been started and now you can see that the name uh, that uh, line has been changed to slash list let's go to the Mozilla browser and I'm gonna refresh this page once I refresh the page I get the same error which says we don't have any explicit mapping for like we don't have any code to display anything right 
but what if I type slash and type list here press enter and there you go our controller is perfectly working according to the request mapping we are giving it so this is the slash that's the URI for our web application so this is how you can create controller we looked at few annotation request mapping and response body response body indicates the body of your return method or return whatever you want to return from it all right so this is it for this video guys and um, there are a few more videos i want to talk about a few things and after that we'll start building our actual project using time leaf uh, template engine and spring boot as our framework right we'll be building a complete uh, image gallery application that's going to be fully dynamic and all the data will be coming from this uh, java application all right so before we finish this video i want to just say that i've got another channel uh, if uh, you are interested in tips and tricks so i've got another channel uh, called technical os just subscribe to the channel please and uh, yeah it, this channel is particularly for programming i'm not going to be doing any autocad tutorials or any other Revit tutorials so this is just uh, for programming right all right guys so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one chase